Hey, Brostilla, you're a ricer. I'm not a ricer. Stop copying what I'm saying. I mean it. Hmm. Hi there! Good grief, he's naked! Uh, Porsche Carrera GT. I think they got our paint jobs mixed up. Yeah, think? Hey, Huracan, do you want me to tell you a secret? Sure. What is it? Conjurings. Hello, I'm here to replace you. Oh good, Anova, now I can fart on that instead of other cars' faces, cause you know, that's what Anova deserves and what it's meant for. That's it. Super Trofeo. The famous quirk for this car is its lack of collector rings. And it is the most luxurious car you can get for $33 million, but it is also simply stupid. And since then, its legend has grown, and so has the desire for sex. And this is it. Hey, I'm right here, and I can hear you. Notice the moment you go to get inside, the door sill is very stupid. Oh, stop insulting me, you big dug to van. The collect rings. Oh, shut up. Actually, you know, I kind of feel bad. Do you want my collector rings? Wait, you're offering me your collector rings. Oh my god, thank you. I never thought somebody would bully me for a few seconds and then offer me collector rings. Just put them in here. <laughs> Once again, thanks for the collector rings. Hey, you are not supposed to have those. Wait, are you talking about my collector rings that I just got? And plus, how can you see them? They are stored in my front trunk. Yeah, I am talking about those collector rings you just got. And you got them from a crappy van too? You're disgusting. You know what? You can just screw off. You're just mad that I just got collector rings from my new friend right here. And you can't make fun of me no more. Even though you can make fun of my bro. And not me anymore. And plus, I'm still faster than you around corners. Because I'm lighter, have more carbon fiber, and have a large wing. But you don't get it. You just got your collector rings from a dirty old van. And you're an insanely cool Lamborghini race car that's well taken care of. So therefore, I can still make fun of you because of that, and plus, we established this a while ago, I'm still faster than you in the quarter mile because I have all-wheel drive, and that big wing would just cause drag when you run down the strip, and being more lightweight could also cause lack of grip. You dick crap. Okay, that's it. Hey you, go ahead and make fun of him. Now it's time for the Doug score. Starting with the weekend categories and styling, the bland, dull, inoffensive, but not heinously ugly, and it gets nearly a 3 out of 10. Acceleration 0 to 60 comes in 11.7 seconds, and I don't think anyone would argue with a 1 out of 10. Handling is acceptable in this price range, but compared to the wide array of actually good cars, it's skittish and troublesome, especially at higher speeds, and it gets a 2 out of 10. 
Cool factor couldn't possibly be more obvious. Few vehicles are less cool than Ventador. It earns a 1 out of 10. Same deal for importance. This is a throwaway car, and there will be none of these left in like 9 years, much like the Suzuki Esteem or the Hyundai XL, and it gets a 1 out of 10. Added up, and the total weekend score is just 8 out of 50, 3 points higher than the bare minimum and the single lowest weekend score I've ever given out. In case it isn't clear, I wouldn't want to drive one of these on the weekends. Things take a different turn when we move on to the daily score. Features and equipment? <laughs> it has none. It has a cord for an interior door handle. It doesn't have a dome light. It gets and deserves the very first 1 out of 10 in this category. Luxury measures comfort, and this car isn't comfortable. The seats are tight, the climate control is non-existent, and the ride is harsh, but not quite as harsh as I was expecting, so it gets a 2 out of 10 rather than a 1. Quality measures materials and reliability. It uses fine materials, but they don't really measure up by modern standards. More importantly, reliability is rough. These cars are notoriously expensive to maintain. You ever had to fork over 13 grand to change the fuel bladder in your Acura? It gets a 4 out of 10. Practicality is next, and the has laughable cargo space, passenger room, and gas mileage. It gets a 1 out of 10. And finally, there's value, which is almost impossibly hard. How do you score a car that costs over a million dollars? It should earn it a high score, but it's knocked down by the fact that one could argue we're in a bit of an exotic car bubble, and prices could drop before they inevitably rise again. So it gets a 7 out of 10. And that brings the final daily score to an almost laughable 15 out of 50. Don't buy this thing to drive every day. Add those together and the final Doug score is... 23 out of 100. Is the worst Doug score I have ever given to a car. You know, let's just get this cringe video over with.